So let's put this into a complete throwing program. Um, those were the individual um, phases of the throwing program. But what I, so what I like to do is we get to the field, we run. So uh, you want to be warmed up to throw, not throwing to warm up. Um, we're gonna the first phase of our throwing is gonna be the the wrist flick. So they're gonna get that elbow up to shoulder height. They're gonna flick their ball to their partner, and then we're gonna do ten of those. And then they're gonna go down into the half kneeling power T throw. So into this position, like uh, front leg pointed forward, elbow at shoulder height, and throw to your partner. Get that arm all the way across. Then they're gonna stand up. They're gonna get a little farther apart because now we can throw a little harder. We're gonna do the standing power T throw. Get that front foot pointed at the partner. We're trying to create a little dissociation between upper half and lower half by doing that. They can keep that foot square, but uh, my preference is to have that foot pointed. So standing power T, elbow at shoulder height, little rocker step back, throw. We're gonna do 10 of those as well. Then we're gonna stay at that same distance of throwing and we're gonna get back into the half kneeling power T throw and we're gonna throw 10 of those. Then we're gonna stand up and now we're gonna do the cross behind. So dominant foot is gonna cross behind and then we're gonna throw. The only thing that I want them thinking about, the only thing I want them thinking about is getting that elbow up to shoulder height um, as they're throwing. So while, while they're throwing, I'm usually behind them or around them and I'm watching, um, giving them cues if their elbow is not high enough, giving them cues if their elbow is too high. Um, and then I get a little picky about foot positioning, body positioning, and um, all those other things we need to, to pay attention to. But for our purposes, this is the single checkpoint that I believe is the most important checkpoint to, to keep an eye on um, as coaches to make sure we're preventing injuries at the elbow and the shoulder. And that's just keeping that elbow at shoulder height um, in a straight line to the opposite side shoulder.